Swiss tennis star Roger Federer broke the news fans across the world have long been fearing when he announced he will retire from competitive tennis after next week's Labour Cup in London. The 41-year-old Swiss has won 20 Grand Slam titles and is regarded by many as the best player ever to wield a racket. Good morning, I'm Abhudeh Shrestha and these are the headlines of the hour. Almost 34 billion rupees spent by the federal parliament in its five-year term. 6.34 billion rupees distributed in salaries and benefits. Aspiring contestants busy in parlays with their party officials and senior leaders hoping to bag tickets for the November 20 polls. At least nine people killed in a stampede at a large rock concert in Guatemala. 20 others injured, organizers to cancel upcoming independence concerts and cooperate with authorities. And Nepal play India in the semifinals of the SAF Women's Championship today. Hosts aim to secure their first win against India to progress to the tournament final. The federal parliament has spent 34 billion rupees within its five-year term. 6.34 billion rupees has been spent in the name of remuneration for lawmakers and officials, including daily administrative expenses. The remaining 27.5 billion rupees has been distributed to the parliamentarians to carry out development works. However, there is no room to feel optimistic in terms of the output from the investment made in the name of the parliament and lawmakers. A total of 275 members of the House of Representatives were elected from the previous election. There is an arrangement for 59 members in the National Assembly. There are a total of 400 officials under the Parliament Secretariat and 450 additional officials, including the personal secretaries and drivers of the parliamentarians. More than 1.26 billion rupees is spent in their salaries and other benefits every year, meaning 6.34 billion rupees was spent from the state coffers in the past five years. A parliamentarian receives 55,820 rupees every month in remuneration. Expenditure reaches up to 1.2 million rupees on the day when the parliament session is held. Despite increasing financial burden, required attention has not been paid in curbing unnecessary expenses. In our public voice segment, we had asked the general public in several provinces regarding their evaluation of the five-year term of the federal parliament. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. Samchatma, niti ne mane kalagi jati chalpal hunu parthiyo, tiyo huna sakena. Hamde jati asar gare ko tiyo, tiyo sunai aur maati sunai ko sahi na. Ah, pratek sarosar nagar nagar nagari harlay. Yeh samchat aye ko samchat goye ko yeh kune bhalo sahi na. Jati sudar bhai ko sahi na koi laga dekhi dehre ramro sudar hunde aye ko Members and cadres of political parties aspiring to be candidates have begun meeting their party officials and senior leaders in expectations of tickets for the November 20 provincial and parliamentary elections. There are many aspirants from major political parties for candidacy in the upcoming elections. As not every single leader will be put forward as candidates, the aspiring members and cadres have begun meeting senior party officials and leaders to press their claims. Crowds of such aspirants have increased at the residences of party presidents, chairpersons, and other influential leaders. It's time now for our segment, Public Pulse. Will you text us with your opinion? Public Pulse. Here's the question. What's your take on the shortage of essential medicine, paracetamol? Your options are A, irresponsible government, B, faulty businesses, and C, ploy to hike price. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Sports News. Nepal play India in the semi final of the SAF Women's Championship today. Hosts Nepal aim to create history as they are yet to win against India in the history of the tournament. The match, which will be played at the Dasrath Stadium in Tripurashur, is slated for 5.30 kick p.m. kickoff. Hosts Nepal are undefeated at the tournament as they had humbled Bhutan 4-0 and thrashed Sri Lanka 6-0 in the group stage. Having scored 10 goals, Nepal are yet to concede a goal in the tournament. However, today's clash against India will be an acid test for the hosts. Meanwhile, India had won two and lost one match in the group stage. In what was their first ever defeat in the tournament's history, India were crushed 3-0 by Bangladesh. 
Meanwhile, the first semi-final of the tournament between Bangladesh and Bhutan will kick off at 1 p.m. at the Dasrat Stadium. It is Bhutan's first appearance in the SAF semi-finals. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.